Hello everyone, and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I recently modeled the Strata Launch System, and it still needs a little bit of work. But one reason I decided to do it was out of curiosity to see whether it could be used to ferry the Orion carrier plane. When it's empty, of course. So, back from the Bahamas to Tampico. Uh, the other option is, of course, to just put jet engines on the Orion carrier plane, which would be a lot simpler. Uh, but, you know... But there's another option, let's just put it that way. Might as well try it out. It so happens, and this was not intentional, uh, that the distance between the two bodies of Strata Launch is exactly the wingspan of the Orion carrier plane. Go figure. Uh, nothing is modified here, and it really is scratching the bodies a little bit there. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a tight fit. Uh, and it's also a tight fit from uh, from uh, scraping the bottom standpoint. In fact, I've increased the size of the landing gear, so technically our dry mass is heavier than it ought to be. But compensating somewhat for that is the fact that we do have aerodynamic surfaces on the Orion carrier plane as well that could help with lift. Uh, but I did increase this landing gear, so it used to be 1.25, now it's 1.6 here, and this, these used to be just one there, now they're 1.25. We'll see if that's enough. It looks, it, it still looks a little bit bad in here. I mean, it looks like we're gonna be scraping the Orion carry plane off. Uh, and I have mounted it as high as possible. It gives you a sense of how big the Orion carrier plane is, uh, that it is this big compared to Strata Launch. I mean, body-wise, it's obviously much bigger. The wing-wise, Strata Launch has that. Uh, now, I've also added uh, some lift to the center portion with the two bodies and the center wing and i've just done this with the stock lift module and we'll we'll just adjust that number to see how much we need out of it uh, for this particular takeoff i've decided to under fuel the wings even though i don't know if that gives us enough range to go from the bahamas to tampico it might not be direct we might need to stop somewhere but there's not a whole lot of places to stop in the middle of the gulf of mexico the whole point of that trajectory was that there's no land in the way so yeah that's a bit of a concern but first let's take care of the bit about taking off with this right uh we are getting pretty heavy here and there's you know the whole possibility of scraping things or running out of runway so, let's take it outside and see how it goes. Now, somebody correct, correctly pointed out that the control surfaces seem to be not going in the right direction on Strata Launch right now. Uh, so when I pull up, uh, you can see the Orion Carrier Plane's uh, rear surfaces on the wings, which are its only, uh, or the body flaps will tilt up, but the elevators on Strata Launch are tilting down. and. Similarly, the rudders are reversed. They're having the correct effect. So it's just however it's oriented in Unity. So I'll just fix that uh, separately. Uh, the, right now, uh, the fixes I've done are configuration fixes. So they're just text file fixes. And those are a little bit simpler. I'll uh, fire up Unity and try and fix the control surfaces in a bit. But since they're sort of working, I'm leaving them be for now. Uh, again, this is why the Strata Launch is not released. It'll be part of my planes pack when it is. So, um, oh, hmm. Well, I don't know if the flyby wire is going to play nice with us. We'll see. But we're using atmospheric autopilot this time. Letting the engine spool up and then releasing brakes. We don't have flaps though right now, so that's another problem. But we have enough runway to get to a very high speed, so maybe that'll help. Put a little bit of fuel in the Orion carrier plane to give us a rocket boost <laughs> would be another idea, but probably not what we want to do. On the bright side, technically Strata Launch is configured in such a way that you could use any rocket engines on the center thing. To give you a boost, you know, there's no surfaces in the way like that. Well, it's time to try to pull up. Eek. Just gotta put very steady, slight pressure here.
Uh, I feel like the see see all the wiggling on the pitch. Uh, I feel like the fly by wire is sort of fighting me there, but I think we're off. Okay. So gear up. Well, we have to land with it too, right? Oh, I better not be complacent here. Uh, we're losing speed and height. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna take the fly-by-wire off. I feel like it's being a little bit too straight. I just want a clean, I want to pitch up sort of situation right now. Pilots are not gonna have a fun time with this. Oh yeah, okay, I'm just not having atmospheric off hot or SAS. Would you believe it flies better that way? Well, I'm on the low quality terrain over here. Let's get back around. This is Tampico. The Ryan carrier plane when empty is not quite the maximum load for a straddle launch. But the maximum load for strategy launch sort of depends on its fuel load and we need to carry enough fuel to get across the Gulf of Mexico or at least as far as possible. I don't know exactly how much fuel strata launch carries in its wings. I've just estimated it as uh, 100,000 liters in each wing. As you can see, it's about two hours right now at our current altitude, but as we go higher, the engines will take less fuel. Two hours would not be enough to cross the Gulf of Mexico. Now, whether we actually get up there very easily is... it doesn't like to climb much. Well. Well, that's that's a different sort of sight. I bet you weren't expecting me to use Strata Launch for this, were you? Well, we're at a decent speed and height for now, for a landing test. Yeah, the reason I got the control surfaces wrong is apparently because I got some other planes' control surfaces wrong. I just copied the orientation of the control surface vectors from that other model and so that one was probably wrong too and simple thing to do but in this case faulty flaps would definitely help during landing though so this test is at more than I think about a hundred tons more than the previous test okay here we go We gotta have to be super horizontal. I wonder how well Star Launch can glide actually. Uh that was too high. Ooh, our ability to pull up is really rough. Ah uh, okay. Ooh. Oh. Okay, frags. Oh gosh. What's the action group for the drogue shoots on? Well, at least we have air brakes on the Orion carrier plane. It also has drag shoots, so we could use those. Oh, they just never work, though. <laughs> okay, we're we're overrunning the thing. We'll have to see how much slower we can be. For landing. And maybe configure some flaps. No. Oh. If you were wondering. If you're wondering whether there were any cheats involved and whether it would really explode if we tilted too far off. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it will. Okay, well, anyway, that is continuing development of the Strata Launch System for use with ferrying things around, in this case, the Ryan Carrier Plane. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.